सॉरी फिगर्स गलती हो जाती है एंड वी सीक एन एपोलॉजी यार माफ कर बट वी डोंट नो हाउ टू एक्सप्रेस अवर फीलिंग इन इंग्लिश एपोलॉजी ए पी ओ एल ओ जी बाई एपोलॉजी इज ए वर्ड इन विच यू फील सॉरी जिससे आप बोलते हो यू फील लाइक नो नो यार आई डिट मीन दैट वट एवर आई स्पोक I did intend saying that way, you know. You want to clarify. That is called apology. A P O L O G Y. A P O L O G Y. Apology. I'm just saying that sorry. Musi galti ho gayi. But how do you pronounce? How do you speak out in English? Hindi mein bolna asaan hai. Hindi is our mother tongue. Very easy to communicate. But slightly sometimes it becomes difficult. in english so today i am with you to explain different facets different arenas in which you will seek an apology from the person to whom you are talking in different scenario to pehla dekhte hain kya apology pardon usse galti ho gayi please maaf karna pardon pardon i am really sorry pardon me please i beg you pardon mujhe maaf kar do उसको इंग्लिश में क्या बोलेंगे आई बेग यू पार्डन प्लीज आई बेग यू पार्डन आई एम टेरिबली सॉरी आई एम टेरिबली सॉरी बेग यू पार्डन प्लीज आई एम टेरिबली सॉरी आई एम सॉरी आई एम रियली सॉरी आई एम ऑफली सॉरी आई एम ऑफली ए डब्ल्यू ई एफ यू डबल एल वाई सॉरी एस ओ डबल आर वाई ऑफली सॉरी excuse me excuse me please so these are the ways these are the sentences that you have to use when you seek an apology and you want to be pardoned by the person to whom you have communicated either in writing or in speaking so what you have to say i beg your pardon please i beg your pardon please i am terribly sorry i am sorry i am awfully sorry Excuse me, please. Excuse me. I'm sorry. So these are the sentences which you can use to communicate your feeling when you feel or when you seek an apology to a person to whom you have already talked. Now come to somebody sitting in a meeting and you want to introduce, you want to talk to him. So will it? Uh, will it be appropriate that you just throw in you just barge in or you would be addressing by certain sentences you would be communicating to him you must seek an you know permission whether you want to talk to him or not it's a case of a school suppose you want to meet your principal and you want to straight away you cannot barge in to her chamber so what you would do you would definitely use a permission you will seek a permission what would be that <clears throat> just a moment please just a moment please suppose you want to draw your attention but he or she is not able to you know listen to you so what would be your point of address like just a moment please this will take a few seconds I just want to communicate something to you. This will just take few seconds. This will take a minute. 
Suppose you want to communicate something which might take a minute or so. Even though it can take few minutes or more, but you have to say just a minute. Please wait a second. No, you wanted something in between says, okay, I'll listen to you tomorrow. And I said, please just wait for a second. Hold on for a moment. Hold on for a moment. Excuse me for a moment. You are on the verge of communicating something and you see and you feel that your message has not been communicated. So these are the things which you can use. Wait one minute, please wait for a minute. And you see, your virtue is really important. Your gesturing, you cannot simply say, wait for a moment. You're not going to command. You will just seek an apology. You're just requesting. So wait one minute, wait for a minute, please. This will just take a few seconds. This will take a minute or so. Please wait a second. Please wait a moment. You can say also, just please wait a moment. I've just finished. Please wait a moment. Hold on for a second. Please hold on for a second. Hold on for a moment. Please. See, your overtures is very important. How you act and how you gesticulate your body part. Your language is also communicated through your body part. That is called overtures, gesticulation. Excuse me for a moment. So these are the ways which are very useful in communicating what are your intrinsic views of feeling. Just a moment, please. You wanted to communicate something, but you are not communicating. You are not getting time or you are not being paid attention to. So these are the words, these are the sentences which you have to use to communicate to the other person to whom you want to seek an appointment. Next, you are in a fault. And you want to seek an apology. This is my fault. Sorry, I was not paying attention. Your teachers, most of the time, it has been seen that teachers are rebuking students for not paying attention to the classroom, in the classroom, on the issues which is being taught to them. So, when you are asked to put in task, or when you are subjected to certain kind of, you know, punishment, and you seek an apology, what you say? Sorry, sir. I was, I was not paying attention. I would not do that again. Sorry, sir. I was not paying attention. Sorry, I was negligent. I was not paying attention. All the other sentences, what you can say? Sorry. I was not, I was negligent. Sorry, I was negligent. It is my fault. Mind you, I am discussing all these sentences under the umbrella of apology. I was I was at fault. It was careless of me. I shouldn't have done that. It was careless of me. I'm to blame. If I got a bad mark, nobody else is going to be blamed for it. I'm to be blamed. I'm responsible for that. So these are the statements, these are the sentences which you have to do in order to seek an apology. I did that. I'm sorry. I did that. I'm sorry. I didn't. I did it. Sorry. So this is apology. See, most of the time, this is uh, these are the statements when you have already sought or made up your mind that I have to seek an apology. But most of the time, in such cases where the children are totally intransigent or incorrigible, those students hardly relent. In such cases, these things are not going to be applied because they will not seek an apology. Now let's come to something else also. I didn't mean that. Suppose you say something and some other meaning is communicated. So in that case, how would you explain? I didn't mean that. My mistake. Maybe that I communicated something. By mistake you understood something different. I didn't mean that. I was mistaken. In fact, I spoke something else, but I was mistaken. You know, I messed up. Maybe that I'm not be able to communicate properly, so I messed up the whole scenario. The statements which I spoke was not taken in the healthy spirit. So I messed up. It's my mistake. Please pardon me. I messed up. I made an error. I made an error. He double a oa. Many mistake kiya Sorry. Please pardon me. You know, those things which I told you. 
Ah, am I disturbing you? Suppose somebody is reading. Suppose somebody is doing his work and you are just like an intruder. Some, you just wanted to barge in and you ask a question. Though politely, ah, am I disturbing you? Sorry, if I am doing that, pardon me. But I want to speak something. I want to make my points clear to you. So in that scenario, what should be your statement like? Here are those statements. Am I disturbing you? Mind you, these are the sentences where your overtures, your way of speaking is very important. You can't say, am I disturbing you? You can't say that. Now, it is under the umbrella of apology. Am I disturbing you? Sorry. Please, pardon me. <laughs> is this a good time to talk to you in the morning? Suppose if you want to talk to somebody, you seek a permission. Is this a good time? Are you busy, sir? Are you busy? You ask a question. This question is in not in the format of asking a question, but in the form of a uh, format of seek an apology. If you are not busy, please, if you could listen to me, I want to talk to you something. Am I interrupting you? Suppose somebody is talking and you are trying to make a point. So where there you will use this sentence, am I interrupting? Am I bothering you? So these sentences goes to explain your sense of apology. That is, am I disturbing you, sir? Is this a good time? Are you busy? Am I intruding? What is intruding? Beach me kahi to moment, matlab aapko disturb to nahi kar raha. I N T R U D I N G, intruding. Am I interrupting? I didn't feel like that I'm interrupting. You spoke so well, and I wanted to make a point clear from my side. Sir, am I interrupting? If I am not, should I make a point clear to you? Am I bothering you, sir? Now, may I bother you a moment? Suppose you want to make a point clear. There, you want to make a certain sort of clarity or clarification. I want to make your point in between some conversation with somebody. So what would be those statements like? Here are those statements. Do you have a, some time, please? Do you have some time, please? So that I can talk to you. Do you have a second? See, these sentences are under the word apology. You are uninvited. Suppose you are just like uninvited and you are trying to make a point to somebody on your own. You have not been called upon. But you are voluntarily going to speak to somebody seeking their permission. Can you stop for a moment, please? Can you stop for a... Suppose you are walking in the streets of Delhi and you want to ask somebody, can you stop for a moment, please? Could you tell me where is Kanat, please? You know? So that's it. Somebody is going, he is having his own momentum, he is having his own rhythm, he is maybe under his own thinking process. So he disturbed him. In that case, you have to be very apologetic. Can you stop for a moment, please? Can I interrupt you for a minute? Can I interrupt you for a minute? So that I can make my points clear and ask you something. Now, everything is over. Koi chiz garbar hogi. You want to pardon. You want to maaf kar dena usko. Aap chate hai, chalo usko maaf kar dena. Never mind. Kya baloge? Think nothing of it. Chalo yaar, ho gaya, ho gaya. Think nothing of it. Aapne koi galdi nahi ki. Kisi ka dhakka lagne se koi banda gir jata hai. Metro mein aapne kisi se charte samay aap se kisi ko chot lag gaya ho. To kya karo? Never mind. You say, never mind. Chalo yaar, hota hai. Think nothing of it. Put it out of your mind. Pahla kya hua? Think nothing of it. Put it out of your mind. Are अपने मन में ये मत पाल के रखो कि मेरे चलते वो गिर गया या धक्का लग गया पुट इट आउट ऑफ योर माइंड ओह इट इज नथिंग यार होता है भीड़ भाड़ में होता है ओह इट्स नथिंग इट्स ओके इट्स ओके बार बार वो बोले जा रहा है सॉरी यार सॉरी यार सॉरी सर सॉरी और इट्स ओके इट्स ओके इट्स नथिंग फॉरगेट इट फॉरगेट इट डोंट वरी अबाउट इट माई डियर चाइल्ड डोंट वरी अबाउट Why are you so apologetic? 
Don't mention it time and again. Come on. Come off it. So my dear children, these are the words which when you seek an apology, these are the different scenarios which I mentioned you. You can use it every time, any time, whenever you are put under any perplexing situation. So try to remember it, try to memorize it, uh, memorize it and use it in day-to-day -day speech while reading tabloid newspaper or any other things and while you are in active conversation with your teacher, principal, elders, anyone in the society, these words, these sentences would be highly useful for you. Thank you very much. Yada yada hi dharmasya Glanir bhavati bharata Abhyutthanam adharmasya Tadatmanam srijamyaham Paritranaya sadhuna Vinashaya chadushkrita Dharma sanstha punar thaya